my great pleasure to welcome you all to our event i would like to take a moment to thank you all for coming your support means so much to us i would like to welcome our chief guest mr a vijay kumar assistant professor department of business administration from loyola college of arts and science in metala for joining us i wish to inform that he completed phd in finance mphil in finance mba in finance and marketing and bcom ca i would like to welcome our beloved chairman sri or srinivasan sir in his absence here i would like to welcome our beloved ceo ma'am mrs akila muthuramalingam in her absence here and our beloved principal dr m kartikeyan sir in his absence here i would like to welcome our hod mrs danalakshmi ma'am and other faculty members i am glad to say that today's topic is about achieving problem solution fit and product market fit let's start the section thank you so much thanks for the introduction and uh, uh, shall we, uh, anybody sharing the screen at the presentation yes sir yes thank you and one second good morning to all of you and good morning the hod ma'am and uh, uh, tamil sir and all the students and uh, welcome you all for the session and today the topic is about how to make a solution to fit a problem and how to make a product to fit in the market so so this is the topic we are going to discuss today so i hope you understand what we are actually going to discuss uh, anybody could tell me uh, how to fit a product in the market uh, according to anybody any science you can post in the what's uh, sorry in the சார் ஸ்கிரீன் ஷேர் ஆகுதுங்களா சார் ஹலோ சார் Hello sir Hello sir hello sir yes uh, what happened no no sir i think to teach you hello ah is is it audible now ah yes sir so is the screen visible
Hello. Hello, sir. From my end, the problem is from my end. Sir, I don't know. Okay, it's so okay. I think your network is not stable. Okay. Hello. Hello, sir. Yeah, it's okay. Ah, yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Okay. Thank you then. Um, okay, sir. Okay. So uh, we are going to discuss about uh, how to make a solution for a problem and uh, how to prepare a product which suits for a market. So this is the topic we are going to discuss today. So you all know that how to make a pro uh, how to make a solution to a problem and uh, how to what are the different way of understanding the need of the customers and making or converting such need as a product. So majority are trying to satisfy the customers for their want, but many of them are not able to succeed in their uh, satisfying the customer. So the problem where they are actually uh, has to focus on getting their product to fit in the market. So this is what the discussion we are going to have today. So next slide, please. Ah. So this is the overview of the session today. So we are going to discuss about how to conceive an idea and how to make it as a a uh, successful product and how to conceive a problem and how to make a solution to fit for the pro problem and agenda please seconds so these are all the important areas we are going to discuss so understanding the problem and making solution of it and achieving a product uh, in the market as a successful successful product and key strategies what are has to be planned for making a product to be a successful product in the market and how to measure a success and uh, what are the uh, parameters has been taken for measuring a success of a product so this is the discussion and next slide so this is all about how to treat a problem and how to make a solution to a problem. So we all know that a problem having a n number of solutions, but we are focusing on the most appropriate solution to a problem. Anybody could tell me a problem have a most appropriate solution all the time? Anybody? Do you think a problem have always the most appropriate solution for it? Anybody? Anybody is there? You can unmute and speak. 
This is an interactive session, not a mono acting. You can use your chat box to answer for it. Yes, sir, there will be solution. Every problem is having the most appropriate solution all the time. One response yes, is yes. Okay. Any other opposition for this? Anybody is refusing it? Guys, one thing you understand. That is no fixed solution for any problem and that is no most appropriate solution for any problem. The thing is. We have to. Go through the problem and we have to understand where the problem has been arised. And we should. Analyze it could be in our control or it is not in our control. Could we able to solution it or we should recommend for any other or any expert or any uh, professionals to handle the problem? And we are deriving the alternatives. The alternative means what are the strategies we can follow for setting it up? And we are focusing on the strategies and selecting the strategy which is most Aptable, acceptable, and executable. And only we can implement this. And after implementing, also, we can expect 50 50 chances. Either it may be settled down or it may not be settled down. If it has not been settled, we have to again plan for a strategy and I have to go for all the steps. So there is no appropriate answers or appropriate solutions for any problem at all. The only thing is we are doing some strategy. It may be setting it up or it may not be. The thing is we are deriving on different aspect of thinking and de deriving different solutions and selecting the most appropriate and executable uh, and we are implementing. It. So the same way. A problem arises in a company or arises in our data life or any problems arises when we are marketing a product or when we are bringing a product into the market. So suddenly no customers will not attract with our product. So what we have to do? We are doing a lot of strategies for making no of our product into the customers. So sometimes it may it may be easy for reaching the customer and sometimes it may not be that much easy for reaching a customer through our product. At the same time, the product is also rightly reached. Once the customer is disappointed with our product, it will be definitely a very difficult for us to making it set up and uh, making convince our product into the customers for getting into a successful product. So this is happening all the level of execution from manufacturing to till reaching the customer. So in every step, we are focusing on uh, the customers and their mind. How do they will accept our product? So first of all, we should understand what is the problem is actually and where it is actually has been arrived and where it is has been um, uh, created. So first we should understand the problem. Next slide. And applying lean startup principles after identifying a problem or after conceiving an idea so this can be fit into both problem as well as a new startup or a new product development so you can fit lean into every everywhere so lean is first you have to conceive and uh, do a strategy planning and measure the strategy planning and learn it and execute it. So learn can be applied anywhere. 
so in our cases we are uh, applying lean concept into two aspects one is solutioning a problem and one more is fitting a product into a market so here the lean concept is uh, first deriving a uh, problem for problem where it is actually uh, arised and one more concept is we are conceiving a business idea or a product idea and we are trying that idea into a physical product so first we should conceive an idea and after that we are measuring this product idea can be successful or executable or can be convertible into a product so we may be having lot of ideas to prepare a product but the technology and the skill and the resources may not be available for converting such idea into a product or a business so the lean says that if a product to be a successful product the first conversion of business idea or product idea should be mvp minimum viable product which means the product must be easily acceptable with a basic feature can be easily uh, reachable to the customer easily attractable to the customer and easily handleable to the customer so many of the customers they are skipping a new product why because they may not be knowing the uh, the value of such product and handling of such product so that is why they are refusing to buy or refusing to go for new innovations because they may not be having an idea how to handle such products so the lean says that a new arrival or a new product into the market should be mvp so with the basic features that may be easily attract customers and slowly we can enrich the product into next next levels and we can attract the market so this is the concept of lean say and iterative testing iterative testing means we need to continuously improve the product repeatedly so we need to refine refine redefine so only then the product will be in a different way of developing and will be acceptable to the customers so the first concept is an any new product with a basic feature or a with a uh, ordinal advantages may attract the customers at the first impression and afterwards we need to go for repetitive advancement in the product and that will help us to maintain or re retain the customers into our product otherwise our product will not be sustainable for a long run so every product or any business we are trying to sustain in the market for a long run so what are the strategies we are following for sustaining our product or business into the market and that is questioning so in lean concept so the first approach is prepare a product with a basic feature and basic advantages and do a repetitive advancement in the product will help a product will fit into the market any questions up to now anything may not be understandable yes sir, yes, sir. Uh, any uh, anything to be clarified anything to be clarified or shall we proceed no sir okay then next slide please after conceiving an idea how we are converting such idea or a things into a physical product or a visible product so this is the discussion on next topic so here uh, i wanted to have one question with you all a product is always a, a customer centric or manufacturer centric anybody could tell me is a consumer centric or manufacturer centric sir 
Thanks, you must. Yes, thanks for answering. So a product is always consumer centric. So when we are having an idea to prepare a product, so the next thing we have to do is we have to think about the customer. Whether the customer will accept this product or so the next will next question will comes to us is whether this product can be acceptable by the customer or if they are not how can we convince them with our product so we should not change our idea anyhow we have to convert our idea into a business or a product but we have to convince the customer with our product without changing any idea whether they are ready to buy or not ready to buy but we have to make them buy so that is the success of any business because every product is convinced by the manufacturer uh anybody could tell me what are the gadgets or any belongings of yours we are rarely used any anything you can suggest me that you are using such gadgets or belongings you are rarely used but you are owning it anything anything you can name you are rarely using it but you are owning it anybody in this meet yes you can unmute and speak it's an interactive session we are exchanging the ideas that's it. one by one please unmute and speak or you can post it in chat box not audible no answers i want to know about uh, some gadgets that you are uh, using it but rarely but you own it how many of you having the habit of uh, watching the time in your watch how many of you are having the habit of seeing the time in your watch be honest and tell how many of you are having habit of watching the time using your wrist watch anybody i have sir okay anybody does not but you own now the habit of watching the time using wrist watch has been changed but even though people are wearing it majority they turns into watching the time in their mobile phone are you agreeing this or not anybody agrees this hello am i slow no sir Okay. I was asking you a question that um, people are turns watching their time in mobile phone rather than using their wrist watch. Are you agreeing this? Anybody? Or you can disagree also. Not an issue. Yes, sir. Okay. It is not necessary that you always has to say yes. If you are having opposition point, not necessary that you have to say yes. you can also opposite me because it's my perception not yours i mean my point of view and people majority they use their wrist watch but they are not seeing the time in their wrist watch instead of they are using their mobile phone for watching their time but even though they are wearing watch this is what 
the product fit and market fit is all about once the customers becomes habitual addict they will not change so the first thing when you are converting your business idea into a product you have to focus whether your product can be a habitual addictable product if you are able to make your product as a habitual addict product your business will be a evergreen business mark mark it down if you are able to make your product to a habitual habitual product like a tea and coffee after having a breakfast or lunch or dinner people are having habit of eating snacks or some other beverages after having their food so this is habits if your product becomes any of this and your product will be a evergreen business don't worry about your business idea so this is what called as transition of product to a market so we are only focusing on how to cons- how to make our business idea into only a product you cannot be succeeding because you are not preparing for product for your own use because your pro- your product is all about for market so what is the market's expectation the market having lot of thirsty in them the only thing is could we able to make them satisfied how is the question so if your product can be a habitual product and your product will be definitely a evergreen uh, business product so only then so why i am talking all this the sustainability of your business or product you may be produce a product it may be successful successful for some period or some season and after a new innovation comes your product will be outdated product think about uh, uh, fm and radio stations so now everything is uh, uh, changed uh, it was a time to see uh, to hear music only through fm some days now we have spotify app spotify app wink music app so lot of apps for uh, hearing music whatever we want not they have to play so lot of product has been changed so this is what uh, converting a business idea into a product so we have to think about the customer and uh, what are the difficulties the customer is facing or uh, if our product can be easily approachable to the customer can make them buy our product repeatedly and the product success is lies on thank you any doubts about this no no sir no sir thank you and next slide please ah so the different strategies for us achieving a product market fit identifying the target market so we were discussed a lot on this again i'm going to bore you in this topic so what is segmenting a market or targeting what is the difference between segmenting and targeting a market anybody could tell me what is segmenting and what is targeting hello sir yes sir segment and the group ka divide pandrathu same days irukra customers and the okay and what is targeting i i'm not asking about the targeting and the s s please s please sorry என்ன பிடிக்கிறது அதை வந்து டார்கெட் பண்றது 
based on the interest of the group we are offering uh, am i uh, right with uh, your point yes sir okay anybody agrees this yes sir Yeah, only one is uh, rest all. Okay. So classifying market, and you all very well know of that. Uh, in your marketing subject, you maybe know, uh, you may be discussed with market segmentation uh, based on the customer, income, age, geographical condition. Uh, climatic conditions. We are classifying the people in the market, and that is market segmentation. So here we are targeting the market. The so targeting market is we are particular in the market. Only one group has been targeted. For an example, uh, mobile phone. And uh, mostly discussed and easily answerable question. The mobile phone, actually, whom the mobile phone has been targeted? Anybody? Who has been targeted with mobile phone products? Yes. Huh? On your mic, take one second time. And afterwards, speak. Sir, youngsters. Youngsters. Uh, any other answers? Business people, sir. Business people. Okay. Anybody? Uh, you can not necessary that only one has to speak or two has to speak. Everybody can speak. Only two. So only one. And uh, sorry, uh, somebody speaking. Please. Hello. Yes, sir. Uh, I'm asking the. I'm asking for who is the the product has been targeted the mobile phone. Who have been targeted? Only youngster and business class people are using it. No, sir. Everyone is using. So everybody is a target, guys. Mobile phone is the best example, which targeted. All the group of people in the market, the games for children, and uh, the applications for business class people or youngsters, students, everybody will comes under the class of product. So the mobile phone is not only targeting a specified group in the market. A mobile phone is targeting the entire group, even from one one age. One age people. Listen, targeting. So targeting is we are only specified a group of people in the market, and we are identifying their needs, and based on that, we will we will prepare a product and we will offer such product to the selected group in the uh, selected group in the market. So that is targeting. Guys, you tell me where a generic product will success or targeted product will success. Which product will get uh, easy or uh, fast success? You can take it as a fast. This product will be uh, easily successful or fastly will success uh, if we prepare a product, a generic or targeted. Which product will get easily a successful position?
generic product or targeted product. Generic product, you all know that, no? Generic product is, as usual, we will prepare a product and we will wait for the time to get success. But targeting is different because we know the pulse of the target group. And once our product launched into the market, the next day, the product will reach the target group. And which product will have a high successive rate, either generic product or target product. Hello. Targeted product. Targeted product. Any other views? The same time we have to think one more. If your targeted product gets access and the only specific group will accept your product. But when your generic product gets access, everybody will accept your product. Where do you will prepare? Either in generic version or targeted version. As per the discussion, generic product will get slow success, uh, will reach the success in very slower, but target product will get easily into the successful position. But generic is mass, massive in crowd. They are mass crowded. But targeted is very less crowded. Even if your product gets success, only in that specific group, the product will be lies on. But when your product is a generic product, if it is get success, you will get a mass crowd for buying your product. How do you will prepare your product? Either generic product or a targeted product. Now you answer. I didn't hear anything. It's a generic product. Okay. Only one in this group. This is not a quiz program. This is a discussion. So I'm just asking an opinion of yours, not expecting a concrete answer from you. This is only an opinion. Sir, generic product. Generic products. Any other? The generic product. Generic. Just before. Generic product. Thank you. Thank you. And just before you were mentioning that okay. you will prepare product for a target market. And now your opinion has been changed. This is what a customer is all customer is always they having a different opinion always every minute every second the consumer opinion is always changing sometimes a product which is being targeted may be successful in generic sometimes a product which is being prepared for generic will be successful in a target group a product can be successful in anywhere, but only thing is we have to go with mass crowded targets. If your product want to be successful product, you have to focus on mass crowded because there is a chances of success higher than a target group. At the same time, when you are entering into a mass crowd, you have to identify a target group in them. For an example, like uh, a mobile phone. A mobile phone invention has been for telephonic communications. Now we are having a different variant of mobile phones, which are uh, being helpful for our day-to-day uh, -day life activities, uh, like sending a mail or receiving a mail, uh, doing all the 
clerical work, forwarding, downloading, um, ERP softwares. So mobile phone has been uh, innovated in, and adapted a lot of features in it for meeting the mass crowd. But it was initially into a target group and slowly it has reached into the mass crowd. So whenever you are preparing a product, just test the product into a small market area or with the target group. And afterwards, you facilitate the product and you add features in the product to meet all the mass crowd. So this is what called as strategies for achieving a product into a market fit. So starts with target group and ends with mass crowd. And this is my suggestions. Any doubts about in this topic? No, sir. No, sir. Uh, why I'm telling no, if, if you are only focusing on mass crowd, that is also a waste of time. And only focusing on target group is also a waste of time. So you have to enter with small group and has to reach with mass crowd. And that is my opinion. And next slide. And the very, very important 99% of the business success lies on customer's opinion about our product and our business and our service. If our product or our service is uh, satisfied to the customers, they will become a referral to our product. And after enjoying our product, they will be in a referral to our product and he will refer the product to the grand success. In case, if the consumer or a customer not been properly treated and customer does not have a proper opinion about our product and they will not refer our product, they will be a obstacle for our business because they will uh, spread a wrong projection of our product. So that is also an important factor about the customer's opinion. How to make a customer as a satisfied customer? Any idea? What are the different strategies can be adopted by any company for satisfying the customer or collecting a good feedback from a customer? Are you able to understand my question? Uh, the product will be produced on the basis of customer needs and wants. Okay. Okay. You are entering into a hotel. You are uh, assume that you are entering into a hotel and the server is not behaving good with you. But the hotel ambience and the food and the owner or the proprietor of the hotel, everybody is nice to you, but the bearer is not behaving nice with you. How do you feel now? The ambience is very good. The food is also amazing. And the proprietor is also behaving good with you. But uh, the server who served the food is not properly handled you or served you. How do you feel now? And what will be the feedback now about the hotel? It's a bad. You will be feeling bad. But justice, but justice is three major things are amazing. The ambience is amazing. It was very clean, tight, and uh, no smells at all. Everything is nice. But the only thing is the server is the problem. But even though you are not satisfied, and this is what customers feedback. 
you are giving lot of things amazing to customers but if if the customer does not felt happy in one aspect also they will not spread good things about you they will be a rumors they will be a rumors for your product understand what i am trying to say so customer feedback yes sir so customer feedback is important so we have to identify there is no rigid answer for this so only you have to do this for attracting customer feedback you have to do only this for attracting feedback you have to do everything for attracting customers feedback you have to uh, look at all the nook and corners for making the customer comfortable and spread a good word of mouth about your product and your business okay so this is strategies for customers opinion how to collect a fair opinion from a customer what are the ways of collecting a fair opinion from a customer any idea guys my question is very simple what are the different way of collecting feedback from customer so grade ratings grades ratings okay. stars i i can't stars star rating okay any other okay thanks for all the answers so we are having lot of tools for making a survey with the customers collecting feedback understand i am a south indian and my product is available all over the world and i cannot able to meet all the customers in all the countries for collecting the cap, uh, collecting the feedback from the customer but i must know about the feedback of my customer who is residing in different country only then i can able to make them comfortable with our product so feedback is very important only then your product will be a sustainable product in the particular country or in the particular market so there are a lot of tools and methods or a way of collecting feedback Uh, somebody is using technology for collecting feedback and somebody pointing an agent for collecting uh, feedback and uh, uh, every branch there is a counter file for uh, suggesting their feedback what has been improved in that particular shop or in that particular product so there are a lot of way for collecting uh, feedback so what we have to understand is we have to mine the feedback of customer whatever the customer giving a feedback to us is for improving the product quality into a betterment if all that point has been incorporated in our product that is easily convers con uh, what is that easily convincible product to a customer so all the feedback why they are giving for making the product into a fit product so if you are incorporating such ideas whichever is possible i am talking about whichever is possible to incorporate if we are incorporating such business ideas into our product and our product will be a less uh, what is that uh, less con convincible product in the customers not has to give a much time or has to much advertisement for convincing customer so this is the a uh, point we have to understand out of this continuous customer feedback sometimes they may be feeling difficult in that product their opinion may be different after incorporating such ideas into our product their comfortability will be improved so they will be having a different opinion some uh, now they may be having a different opinion and different difficulties in our product and again they will address their issues and we have to again 
incorporate such issues in our product. So this is a continuous process. So that is why I told. Uh, any questions? Hello. Guys, any questions? Yes, sir. sir. Okay. Somebody is saying yes, sir. Somebody is saying yes, sir. So I don't understand. So next slide, please. Next slide, please. Shall I change? Ah, thank you. So these are all the measuring success of a business. Uh, one minute, sir. Uh, some problem with network. I'm sorry. I, I uh, it's okay, no problem. I'm I changed it. Thank you. And uh, these are all the measuring uh, strategies for a business success or a product success or solutionating a problem. So whatever the points we are discussed at now, all the points has been uh, brought together as a one presentation and that is the measuring success of a business or a product. Here, uh, how whom we are going to address our product. So that is the first point, total addressable market. Our product, whom we are actually offering with. What is the size of market we are actually offering with our product? And that is the first point. And uh, the sales ratio of our product. So the sales of our competitive competitive products and uh, sales of our competitors and will be taken into the consideration while we are preparing a product. There is already a competitor struggling with the product. Uh, if we are entering with our product and it will be very difficult for us to make sustain our product into the market. Because there, there is already a competitor, they are having or facing a lot of problem for sustaining in the market. If a new entrant comes into the market, the same problem will come to a new entrant also. So a product which is being very successful in the market, we have to choose such product for preparing such product and enter as a entrant in the market. And that will increase the ratio of success in the market. So the first point is whom we are actually offering the product and Second one is what is the sales ratio of already existed in the market? And third one is customer retention. How many of the customers who are having the habit of repetitive purchase towards the product? If a, if a customer who is repeatedly purchasing the product again and again, that will be a success for a business because we are also having a chance to buy again and again. So this is also increasing the success of a product in the market. And customer lifespan. Uh, here the customer lifespan how long a customer is been being a customer to the product. Uh, he's a new customer. Based on the new customer, we cannot predict the market and this uh, we cannot say that this is an effective market in the market, effective product in the market. Based on the lifespan of the customer, this customer was being regularly purchasing this product for uh, 10 years or five years. So this is the success ratio of a product because the customers are having uh, the habit of buying the product for a long run. So this is also important measuring strategy and cost per acquisition. So how much the customers are ready to pay for the product? You are preparing a product that is not a matter. Whether the customer is ready to pay for the product is the question. I am preparing a product is only my part. Whether the customer is accepting my product for this price is the question. So price is also a determining or determinant of a success for a product. So the next one is cost of a product. And the demand, as usually we discussed a lot, demand how many are aspired to purchase the product and uh, reference. The existing customers, how do they represent our product with others? How do they spread the word of mouth? And uh, what is the opinion of the existing customer towards our product? And how many are referring our product to buy? And that is also a success measure of a product. And some people are now the YouTubers. You can take this example of YouTubers. YouTubers, whatever the new arrivals in the market, they are purchasing it and they are giving a review about the product. You can take it as a movie and the first show itself, they are coming out with the movie reviews and they are rating it and they are suggesting the movie 
with the uh, followers. So this is also taken place uh, to become a success of a product. And product reviews. Somebody is very honest after utilizing the product, and they will voluntarily will give a opinion about the product, and that is also will be helpful for a new uh, new customers for uh, which product has to be buy because based on the uh, existing customer's opinion, somebody having the habit of buying a new product. So these are all the uh, important KPIs for a solution or a market fit. Any doubts about it? No, no sir. No, sir. No, sir. Thank you. Thank you. No, Any sir. Okay. So the conclusion is um, a market fit or a problem fit is always dynamic in nature um, because uh, if we want to achieving a market, we have to repeatedly we have to repeatedly improve our product or improve our decision for making a problem settle down or to make a product successful in the market. So whatever the decision you have taken, you have to repeatedly fine tune it for rectifying the problems in the uh, company. At the same time, a product has to be continuously improved for sustaining in the market. And as usual, we know that a product is always customer centric. The product starts with customer and ends with customer. Whatever the difficulties a customer facing, and there is a possibility of converting such difficulty as a product and make them offer, make it offer to the same customer. So the difficulty is what is being enjoyed by a customer. They are giving a chance to prepare a product and the same can be offered to the same. So this is what called as customer centric approach. I hope you understand what, uh, what are the discussions for we had. Uh, any questions or doubts you can ask. This is a question and session. You can ask the question and I will answer otherwise we can conclude. The forum is open to all. You can uh, raise the questions. Tamil, sir. Sir. Sir, uh, my presentation is over. It's a question and answer. Sir, one second. Ah, yes, sir. Guys, I have shared a feedback link with Tamil, sir. You can fill it. Guys, am I uh, and my points are okay and clear for your understanding? Yes, sir. Understand, sir. Thank you. Any difficulties here being enjoyed? This has to be improved in my session. You can suggest me that I will improve. Or you can ask the questions that what are the questions that you had? I will answer for it. Any oppositions for my presentation also you can ask. Jay Kumar, sir, feedback link is posted in chat box. Uh, guys, please fill the feedback link. And now we are discussing about the feedback. Feedback is important for fine tuning a product into a better product. So you all know that. So fill the feedback without absent. Um, anything? Yes, Any questions? Please. Please fill the feedback link for valuable suggestion.
okay then uh anu sir now i would like to call priyadarshini to deliver the auto thanks speech okay before that i good morning talk. to all uh i would like to say thanks to all and uh, the founder of the college chairperson and uh, principal of this college the head of the department and the faculty and fellow members and uh, all the students those who have participated in the session and and my whole heart and thanks to all of you i hope that i may be uh, i may be given some inputs on you uh, regarding the topic and this may be helpful for you to make a product into a fine tuned product and thank you all uh, for attending the session thank you sir thank you sir once again lot of thanks yes please Good morning to all. It gives me an immense pleasure to deliver the vote of thanks for this event to all dignitaries assembled here. I would like to thank our chief guest who honored this function with his inspirational thoughts. I would like to thank our beloved chairman, principal sir, chairman Sri A Srinivasan sir, CEO Agila Muthuramalingam ma'am, principal sir Dr. M Karthikeyan sir. I would also like to deliver my gratitude towards our HOD ma'am, Dr. Dhanalakshmi, for arranging this section for us. And also, I would like to thank our faculty members. Last but not least, our beloved audience for making this function as granted success. Once again, I thanks one and all present here. Thank you. Thank you so much. And Thank you, Vijay Kumar sir, for participating the valuable time for us. Thank you, sir. Thanks for the opportunity given. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you all. Uh, thank you all, dear students. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. 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 Thank you all.